In this segment of the Envision Tomorrow Plus training series, I'm going to talk about a standalone travel tool and how we can use Envision Tomorrow Plus to measure many useful travel indicators for our region. So I'm going to go back to my arc map, my MXD. When we are at the point where we have painted our scenarios uh, into arc map and we have come up with our output indicators, uh, on our summary tabs, we might at this point also want to get um, travel indicators such as walk trips and VMT and traffic accidents. And we have a simple way to do this um, in Envision Tomorrow Plus using the standalone travel tool. Let me show you how to do it. So we have them painted in, we have our scenarios painted in. I'm going to simply hit save and then, then I'm going to close down this scenario spreadsheet. And at that point, I'm going to open our Envision Tomorrow Plus standalone travel tool. And I am on the Travel App Inputs um, tab, very first tab. And I am going to look at these pink cells um, to put in um, some, some variables, some assumptions about our, about our study area. So the first one I'm going to look at is right over here. And we have a drop down for all of um, the counties and metropolitan areas in the country. We're in Salt Lake City here, so I'm going to choose Salt Lake County. And then I'm going to go through and do some uh, GIS analysis to come up with things like employees in the region. I'm going to plug those into the pink cells. And as you scroll down, you can see there's a few, um, how many intersections are in the study area. How many of those are four-way intersections? I'm going to do some GIS analysis and look at how many intersections are within uh, a one-mile buffer of the study area. And uh, going down the list, I'm going to look at average vehicle travel speed. Um, but you can see the pink cells I put in the inputs. And then I very simply um, go up to the Import Scenarios button. And I'm going to go look for the scenarios that we painted or our scenario spreadsheet. Uh, so that's right here. And I'm going to open it. And at that point, it is bringing in all of the different land uses and information from our scenario spreadsheet. And it's going to um, compute them into this uh, travel, this, this Envision Tomorrow Plus travel standalone. So at that point, I can go to the Summary tab, and I can look, um, and we have all sorts of great information pertaining to travel in your region. We have walk trips. We have transit trips, uh, vehicle trips using a couple of different methods. We have internal and external trips. It gives us VMT, uh, VMT per capita. It speaks to the safety and how many um, traffic accidents uh, are predicted. It uh, looks at public health measures. It also looks at uh, shared parking savings. It gives us affordability numbers in terms of uh, transportation costs a month. And it also gives us um, emissions and air pollutants. Um, so you can see many useful indicators pertaining to travel um, that we can use for our scenarios and use as we're trying to develop uh, good land use plans for our area. Thank you. Brought to you by Envision Utah, because how we grow matters.